Germany, there's wine. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes not. Isn't Australia one of the largest consumers per capita of sparkling wine in the world? When you can't get beer, I suppose. <laughs> Where did he go? Where did he go? No, I was in trouble. I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty defeated. Two aircraft from a different airline, cancelled to Perth. All right, so it is Wednesday the 6th of March and we're going on a bit of an adventure. Both Noah and I are going to be heading across all the way, him from Melbourne, myself from Adelaide. We'll meet up in Perth and we're going to go all the way to Dusseldorf in Germany for the world's largest wine trade fair. We're talking pro wine, which is words can't really describe how big this thing is. I went there last year, had my mind absolutely blown and I thought you know what I want a bit of a redo I'd definitely go about it in a bit of a different way but we're going to be bringing you along with us so you'll get a bit of an insider's take on how sort of big it is large it is and why you should go why we're going we're going to be having a lot of fun there I'll be running some wine master classes for Wine Australia and Adelaide Hills Wine Region and Noah's going to be running some master classes for the Riverland Wine Association which is exceptionally exciting of course we're going to be showcasing the Unico Zello wines which in that kind of like massive international audience for us is just it's so sick. Uh, we'll be catching up with other vloggers like Agnes from No Sediment. We've got Constantine Baum, of course, the big KB, as well as, yeah, doing a whole bunch of fun stuff uh, for the channel. Bit of a project we've also had under wraps called Unico & Co, where we're looking to bring in or import some wine from far fun places. Like, I don't know, we'll tell you all about that later. Next time we'll, yeah, touch down in Perth and yeah, hopefully catch up with Noah. I also, have a massive surprise for Noah in Perth that I've kept under wraps the last 12 weeks, but I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. I'm both nervous, anxious, and stupidly excited. Tune in soon. I'm B Corp, you know. Hi there. I think you see inside of me. There's nothing to do with you. All right, through security. Well, at least one of us is. Henry's been a little bit. What is he carrying? I don't really know, but a long story short, uh, Virgin has cancelled a bunch of my flights and I've had to rebook onto Qantas to get me to Perth. But good news is, hopefully Qantas gets me to Perth uh, and I can meet up with Noah on time. I'm gonna try to find a quiet place to sit down, grab a beer, hopefully do some work. How are you liking your pita bread, Henry? <coughs> Suitable level of hydrated. pretty defeated. Two aircraft from a different airline cancelled to Perth. I rebooked for a stupid amount of money on Qantas. My odds of getting out of Adelaide today are slim to none, I think, which is immensely disappointing because Noah's already in Perth. We shall see. So here's the deal. Uh, it's been about five hours. They managed to fix the plane and I am running my ass off to try to make it on time. I reckon I'm going to make it with about 15 minutes to go. Noah's sitting in a lounge having a great time and we'll tell you all about his surprise, which I had to break to him a little bit prematurely, but I'll fill you guys in. Long story short, made it to Perth. <sighs> Probably gonna get it to Doha. I don't know why I'm having such a rough day on this. It makes no sense. Let's see how we go. I actually managed to meet up with Noah we made it happen, dude. It's real. It's actually real. <laughs> yeah, that, was the that is the craziest thing. <laughs> 15 minutes to go as well. We actually managed to have a good little catch up. To bring you up to speed, I did have to call Noah over the phone and tell him his surprise, which was... First class baby. <laughs> Jack Harlow, what's up? <laughs> First class baby. <laughs> Fergie, where you at? <laughs> Hi, welcome on board. It's gonna be this way. Please awesome. come. Thank you. Welcome. How's the experience been in the first like five minutes? What what experience? This is this is the way we travel, right? <laughs> so, so you're drinking what? Uh, uh, this is a Bollinger Rose uh, 07. Rose 07. And you've got Amanda Brignac. Okay, Jay-Z champagne. Jay-Z champagne. Jay -Z champagne. <laughs> when talk about the pointy ends of aircraft, we are one E and one F. I don't think we could get any more central anymore. And hey, if we get sick and tired of each other. There's this, there's, there's this little like, it's like we have a wall. Sorry, Noah. Bye-bye. It's the opportunity for comedy that gets me the most excited. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, we've got we've got some Arabic coffee that's going to set us on a way with an eleven hour flight, and that's a bit of a marathon, really. Um, so just to, to see the wine for the people score, um, 12, 12 bottles. Um, yep. And, uh, I would pay uh, fifty thousand points. Um, <laughs> freaking five points for this one. Mm. Full of rosé. That would definitely be a twelve banger, and yep. I would go probably. I would realistically probably put it in the hundred and fifty to hundred and eighty category. So I think it's more than that. It's more. I think it's like I think it's like what three four. I think it's like six hundred. Oh wow! All right. I think it's all lines. But we're gonna have more glasses of that. Welcome to Doha. We are C forty two. There is an, a legitimate, like, Oreo cafe, which, if you like to spend, uh, like, 25 Australian dollars for a coffee... For, for a milkshake? <laughs> uh, legitimately, 25 bucks, that's how much it's going to set you back. Uh, yeah, it's just ridiculous. But, once in a lifetime experience, maybe. <laughs> Everything is content, life is content. <laughs> So how is this for a massive Airbnb win? It's always a real sort of trepidatious thing booking something uh, off a bunch of pictures, but this is <laughs> like Noah. Like, how do you? Is someone's actual? <laughs> oh, what have we got? There's records. Oh, we've got we've got, we've got some Kendrick. We've got the maybe the greatest album of the 21st century. No way. We've got some Joe Badass. We've got some Louis Armstrong in here as well. Oh, we're gonna have a great some time. Cool shit. I think we need to just bring back bottles tonight and just crash. Yeah, I think that's it. Because I am, I'm pretty jet lagged. This, so this is an artist's actual sort of like uh, studio that or crash pad slash party central thing <laughs> we're gonna be staying in this week it wasn't even that expensive it was, it was just like like normal even just like like the, like the old furniture here as well this is so cool that is really wicked and this guy makes textiles like textile uh, carpets that are like really textured and layered uh, he's obviously working on a pretty amazing piece here. Why don't you guys just, you know, if you feel creative, just <laughs> just go ahead and add to the artwork. <laughs> oh, mate. Mate. Looking good. Looking oh, good. Oh, well, this is going to be fun. Try to go for a walk, get some sun, some alt beer, and maybe some bottles of Spätburgunder, and come back and chill, listen to some uh, records that are pretty sick. Cheers. <laughs> so we managed to make it to Dusseldorf. The jet lag is well and truly kicking in now. We're about one of these these tiny little beers that they kind of serve here, old beer, which is a a absolutely delicious as well. A couple of these deep, thinking about maybe getting some food, maybe finding a bottle of Spätburgunder and going back to the the most hectic Airbnb I've ever seen. One hundred percent the best Airbnb I've ever seen in my entire life. It's just we're living in an artist studio. It's just bonkers. Yeah. How's the family vibes here? To be honest, like this, this is just absolutely wild. Freya, it's Freya. Friday afternoon, like there's plenty of like, footy guns out. There's old beer flowing freely. I mean, people of li like literally all ages, whole families just coming out. This is like their little tradition. Every and demographic. Yeah, see if I'll get this this guy here. He's about to to walk off with his yeah. tray. Yeah. They serve they serve one beer. That's it. You don't have a choice. Yep. Yeah. This is awesome. That is just awesome. Welcome to Germany. It's gonna put you to sleep. Mm -hmm. So we are minutes away from rationing. Retiring to our quarters. <laughs> it's been a wild 48 hours. <sighs> we made it. We made it. We can't wait for cognitive function to return yeah yeah i'm so relaxed right now yeah okay until tomorrow <laughs> do 
so Noah and I have just woken up stupidly jet lagged <laughs> and it's like 4am but we've been up for an hour and a bit already and we've just realized the worst news ever is that in this marvelous artist's apartment in Dusseldorf there is not a single caffeinated beverage. Not even caffeine produced, not even caffeine. Uh, sorry, my, my, my brain isn't working yet. Um, it, no devices to produce coffee. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, we actually, we glanced at this thinking it was an AeroPress when really it's just a juicer. Those are the only two caffeine device, <laughs> caffeine derived uh, teas that we can find. Oh my goodness. We're actually debating going to McDonald's. McDonald's. This is where we McDonald's coffee. This is where it's it's where we put a shame to the Australian name. This is this this is the um this this is this is the travel. This is the lifestyle. This is yeah, traveling yeah. with wine salespeople. Living the dream. <laughs> McDonald's is the most popular coffee in Australia. Yeah. I, I resent that comment. What place is gonna have coffee at like five AM in the morning in Dusseldorf? The fucking train station. <laughs> That's exactly what's gonna have coffee. Big day today as well. We've got Olevon, which is a uh, like another trade show. A bunch of very small artists and producers have all come together to run their own little show for trade. Bit of a disparity between the two. Yeah, I'm really uh, excited about this. Yeah, same. Like we're gonna we're gonna get exposure to some really cool small producers that simply you would never find in Australia. So. Yeah. Getting that good content. It's all about the content. So my deep, dark little, uh, my little secret, my little indulgence for those who want to know something about me is my proclivities to try to find the most extreme mints I can possibly find. And I am talking about breath freshening mints. These are like the, the Barolo of mints. Yeah, yeah, no, this, this, yeah, this is the, um, this is the first growth of mints. And I am so addicted to Fisherman's Friends that every time I pass a place, I need to buy some and I've found. These are the OG ones. These are the ones with the paper, paper packaging. There you go, Fisherman's Friends, hardcore stuff. It's hectic already. This started literally six minutes ago and it's like glasses. And it's straight in. Let's delve in. This is an appetizer, but then Noah got his appetizer. <laughs> not, not for me. <laughs> that is wild. That's huge. Absolutely insane. All right, so lunch is done. Just caught up with a mate and O Levon. This amazing, fun little show, uh, wine show. What did you reckon? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, I think it's like really interesting to see that like we weren't expecting this like raft of unknown producers that we've never heard of. But to be honest, like a lot of them already were represented in Australia. That was that. Yeah. That, I mean, cool. I mean, now I know where I'm going to get more interesting wines in Australia, or at least be yeah. able to refer them to different drops so they can buy them. <laughs> um, but yes. uh, there were some really good wines. There there one was... in particular. In fact, the standouts were hung Hungary. Hungary. The two Hungarian stands were awesome. There was a Slovenian stand that was excellent too. Like, yeah. we've decided that ferment is awesome. Ferment kind of like it's the like, Shannon. Shannon meets sort of... like Garganiga. Like, yeah, it's, totally. It's, it's like, like savory, yeah. textural. Fer fer we definitely need refreshing. to see more ferments, I reckon. We should do like a ferment special on the yeah. show. But yeah, we don't see enough ferment in Australia, really. I think we just get... What's that? There's that one, is it like Peter? Peter something like there's that one that we've had a few times that's really good. Well, I don't know about you, man. I reckon the jet lag's hitting in again. Yeah, it's definitely getting to that point of the day where I'm like... So it's insane. sleep, coffee, or alt beer that's uh, going to pull us through. I like option three. I like option three as well. <laughs> Okay, all right, I'll be a time. Day one, Pro Vine. Are you ready, Noah? World's largest wine trade. I am so unprepared. <laughs> I'm not unprepared, but like, I'm just, I don't know. You're I'm just, just ready for the sheer scale of what we're about to experience. Yeah. I mean, you just have no par standard, so it's a bit hard. Like, the expectation yeah. is pretty sort of like, how, how do you? weigh it all up but all i know is that uber went from being 13 euro to get us there to 55 euro to get us there in like no time so i think right. everyone's flooding the mess there at the moment yeah maybe it's a early early bird gets the worm kind of situation yeah man beats yesterday yeah <laughs> all right let's do this good morning this is Pro Wine. 
south entrance. <laughs> I mean, we are from the southern hemisphere, so we should probably enter from the south entrance. <laughs> I actually think we're at the north entrance, I'll be honest. I think we need to go get our, uh, our bag control nut, registration forms, legitimation, I think, perhaps. All right. Straight away, already, Noel's in trouble. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? How many QR codes and how many pins? <laughs> <laughs> Should we go find it, found our compatriots at Wine Australia? Yeah, I think we should go to the wine. Bit of a dangerous news. I mean, it's taken, what, almost like 15, 20 minutes and we've managed to find the Wine Australia stand. This thing is massive. But even more dangerous is that the uh, the British sparkling section is it's like, like right next to it. It's right next right to it. Right <laughs> we have a good time. Morning, well, morning. Hello. Where are we set up? Right, right here. Oh, oh yeah. right front and I'm centre. You too. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Noah. Right, Give us a hug. I've known, him since, he, I've known him since he was this big. Yeah, playing <laughs> sucky <laughs> team. All right, so a bit of a, a late thing that happened on the um, uh, approach to Pro Wine was that a couple of people had to sort of pull out a couple of the presenters for Wine Australia's masterclasses had to pull out, so pointed our direction. So I'll be uh, presenting a masterclass on Adelaide Hills sparkling wine. Obviously, I live and work in the Adelaide Hills. We don't make any sparkling wine uh, from the hills per se. Straight out of the bat, straight out of the gate, within the first half hour of being here, I'm gonna be presenting to about 30 or so people on sparkling wine. I'm gonna drag Noah, I'm gonna drag Noah in. Noah can do it with me. If I'm gonna go through the pain, he can go through the pain with me. I think that's fair. Hey, Noah, Noah, do you wanna present a masterclass with me? Yeah, sure. Cool, awesome, sure. that was easy. Here, uh, I thought no one's gonna rock it, so this is fantastic. It's at the ocean, so it's got this amazing diverse they're known as kind of one of the standard bearers of sparkling wine, in, not only in South Australia, but just Australia in general. I think Australians just go just a crazy for the stuff and drink it pretty quickly. So if it does escape the nation, I'd snap it up as quickly as I can because the wine is pretty excellent. Isn't well. Australia one of the largest consumers per capita of sparkling wine in the world? I think it's growing, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, when well, you can't get beer, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Noah, it's, uh, it's been, how long has it been? About, about a couple of hours, at least. It's been pretty quick. Yeah, it's been, it's been bang, bang, bang. Yeah, so we were like straight into Masterclass, which rocked, was good fun. Uh, then we have been jumping around from meeting to meeting. We've actually missed all of our Masterclasses because we just keep jumping from yeah. meeting to meeting. Yeah, we keep we running into like interesting wines and things like that. So we've you know, hit some, uh, some, we went hit a bit of a Portugal bent. Yeah. Which was very yeah, went on a bender through Portugal. Yeah, as always. Uh, <laughs> Found some really interesting Encruzado and we just came from an amazing meeting with a Slovenian producer who's doing probably the tastiest Sauvignon Blancs that I've seen. And some of the most like clean and beautiful fun pet nats I've tried in probably 12 months. Yeah, we've gone from Noah and I to Noah and I and Al. Hey. Hi Al. I've just seen something. When I think of Provence Rosé, I don't think of the, the Liberator vehicle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are people that take their marketing seriously. Oh yeah, so you can detach, you can, yeah, egress that and then just pour straight out, that's so good. So we got wine and magic. Here we go. Yeah. What card is that? That is, is a jack of hearts. Jack, jack of hearts. Open your hands like that. Can I have your right hand? Yeah. Please keep that in mind. Yeah. The jack of hearts, right? Can you, it's going to be a little romantic, can you just put your hand just on top like Ooh, that? Oh, this is getting kinky. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. So, here we are. Um, this is my card, it's the of clubs, right? Okay. But it's going to be magic if you turn it around. You give it a little shake like that. And then I give it a snap, so you can see it changes. If I go like this, oh. you open your hands. Turn it around, you'll just find out that like, <laughs> switch positions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wine is all about, all about magic, right? What, does the magic get easier as everyone else gets more inebriated? Yeah, is, is that what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, gents. Cheers. 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 In Germany, there's wine. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes not. Frost. <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
What the f***? Jesus.